mean, uh, Miami's pretty good, skate-wise, other than the weather, <laughs> occasionally being nasty like this. Miami's pretty good. I love it. Yeah, Miami, uh, it's a big city for skaters. A lot of stuff, you know, un untouched. Being a skateboarder in Miami, it's, you know, takes a lot sometimes because it's so hot down here, but it's also worth it because it's, it's like one of the funnest places to skate. Just so much going on all the time, and there's always new spots, and it's just cool. Miami is special because of the fact that like it's got so much good talent down here and it's like it's almost like a secret paradise you know everybody just comes down here and films anyways because they know how good it is and then you got Joel Meinholz you got Ed you know you know resident pros everybody at MIA skate shop and everybody at BC made skateboarding big like because they have like some good skaters at their shop and BC they got a lot of good skaters we all skate everybody that works for us is a skateboarder and has been for pretty much you know, it seems like your whole life, so. I was here when MIA opened and it was just a group of us that were actually somehow connected to the industry and we felt as if uh, we need to get back and to actually have kids like this come up. Like one day I see one and then the next day I see two, three, four. Like this is our crew that we skate with every day. Most of my friends, they quit basketball and we started skating, so I joined them. Because basketball, it's pretty simple. You just throw the ball in the hoop at skateboarding. You can do grinds and flip tricks and stairs and put them all together. Like everybody here cares about the kids. We care about skateboarding. We, you know, it's real down here. Different kids got different impressions on it and wanted to start skating. It's just a group of people that made it explode. This has now spawned off into them doing the park and actually bringing skateboarding to a visual presence. I mean, MIA Skate Park is one of the only indoor skateboard parks in South Florida. The skate park has really, uh, you know, provided that environment for, you know, skaters of all different backgrounds and uh, abilities, if you will, to be in the same place and skate with each other. And, uh, or ha really just have a place to skate where it's hassle-free. You know, having a skate park is pretty uh, essential to being able to skate when you want. They're fundamental when it's raining like this. <laughs> you gotta hit up an indoor park. It's like, dude, it's hailing outside. Let's go to MIA. Later. Uh, MIA Skate Park, aside from uh, bringing a place to skate for everybody, brings a chance to have contests like the Gatorade Free Flow Tour to facilitate that and bring that to Miami. I think has done a lot for the skate community. The Gatorade Free Flow Tour is a little bit different than uh, most contests. It's, uh, it's more like an opportunity contest. You win it uh, and you get to you know go on to skate in another state. There's not too many uh, amateur contests left, and when we were growing up, we had the Fassels or the, or the, or the California circuit, and uh, that was a big deal to all of us. It gives that feeling of you can win it and go on to bigger and better things. It's just opening up doors for you. You know, kids that were never looked at before, the Gatorade Tour pretty much puts them on the map. You know, it, it's, it's one of those things, it's like nobody really looks at little contests, but when you got a big sponsor and when you got someone that's actually doing something, promoting it, putting it on TV, that kid that came from nothing has a chance to be seen by the world with his talent and people take a look and they go, whoa, that kid's something, you know, we can make him something.